Data collection in the laboratory is a must. Uh, research produces data based on the study plan and based on what they do. We, we are in a forage laboratory and everything starts in the field. Uh, you know, one you know, grows forages, uh, fertilized forages, uh, compare different varieties, compare different uh, species, and we have to collect data, you know, from, uh, you know, how fast the plant grows, how tall they are, the, the, the biomass produced, um, you know, the, 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 the seed and flowering. But everything has to be harvested at some point and collected, and data is collected at every step. And data must be documented. It must be written somewhere. It must be saved, and it must be backed up. So that's the first thing we do. So we start from, you know, from a drawing of, of how we want, you know, we may have like four by four or five by five, uh, you know, trial sites where we plant something and we grow and we compare, diff this is for comparing different, different varieties. And, and so at, at that point, we start collecting data points. Once we harvest the things for a laboratory like ours, where we do wet chemistry, Samples come in. They don't bring the whole plant. They have to dry the plant before. They have to grind it. They have to put it in bags. And that's when we are ready to receive it in the laboratory. So once it's received, they tell us on the submission forms, you know, exactly what we need to do for them. What parameters do they want? Do they want nitrogen? Do they want phosphorus? Do they want uh, fiber? Uh, so based on their request, now we have to use our protocols and procedures to process the samples and generate data that will be used in a publication somewhere. So the first thing is to generate. So, you know, if we're doing something like dry matter, so we have to start by, you know, weighing the container, then weighing the sample that goes in the container, weighing the container after we dry the sample. So each one of these columns is a set of that data. So once that is collected and everything is processed for all the parameters that were requested, so at this time, uh, we must go to the next level of data collection. We must process the data statistically and come up with averages uh, and results that are going to be put in a form of a report. And those reports, these are the backup reports that we print. Because we are, you know, in the century we're in right now, everything goes electronically, so we ship everything by email. Um, but we keep a record on paper because digital records exist only in digital form. <laughs> we can't really see it unless we access it. We have access to electricity. We have access, so um, our reports go sent out, and from those reports now, our students and professors are going to be producing journal articles, uh, they won't be submitting, they'll be going to conferences where those records are going to be submitted and presented to other researchers who are going to, you know, be amazed or not, who are going to want to uh, compare, um, reproduce the result to see if they trust, you know, what, what you put out. And again, that starts with the work at the laboratory, remember. We want to have those reports as reliable, accurate, and reproducible as possible. That is the job of every laboratory. That's exactly what we want to do. So think about it, okay? Uh, train your personnel to produce the best data possible in support of the work of the researchers and the students that, or the clientele that trust the work that you're doing so that they can um, benefit from it in their businesses. Thank you. Thank you.